Uh, Rob Carnell, he is a Chief International Economist at ING Wholesale Banking. He's also rated by Bloomberg as the most accurate forecaster of the U.S. labor markets. Well, after that introduction, uh, I have to ask you, what is your forecast uh, for the uh, economy? I think it'll do slightly better this mm -hmm. quarter. 3.3 is the consensus view. I think we could see something a little higher, something closer to 4% this time around. Uh -huh. But I think it's the composition of the growth that uh, is the thing we should look for this time. It's been very, very kind of flaky, one Offs, yes. uh, inventories, cash for clunkers, you name it, um, for the last couple of quarters. It might look a little bit higher quality. So perhaps consumption coming through and investment may be showing, reasonable showing as well. Right. So, I mean, are you, you're not talking about consumer spending coming up yet, are you? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been surprisingly strong, actually. Mm -hmm. um, there's one of the dichotomies and one of the worries for the US, looking at the data, the actual hard data, the retail sales numbers, mm -hmm. the private personal consumer spending figures that you get on a monthly basis. I haven't looked too bad at all. We should get consumption, per, private consumption, three, three and a half percent, something like that uh, in this first quarter. And what about house building? Is that still soft? It's picking up, mm -hmm. um, but from very low levels. Mm -hmm. If I can just come back to the consumption bit yep. for a second, the thing about that is you've got great looking consumption data. Confidence is rock bottom. Mm -hmm. So There's a is it going right? to carry on? Is the confidence wrong? Is the spending wrong? So I think we just have to wait and see. In terms of the housing data, yeah, it has been coming back, but this is one of those elements, again, where there's a bit of a kind of um, worry. The, the housing sector of the US economy is still very much on life support. Mm. Um, there's a measure, um, home uh, buyer tax credits, actually ended today. Right. Um, there's a bit of time for deals and process to, to go through over the next couple of months, mm. but basically that's gone. Without that, will housing carry on going? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a bit dubious. I think it may fall off. So it looks great now. Yeah. Um, you know, take the good news while we can, but I'm just a little bit hesitant whether we'll see more of that. We have seen steady gains in equities, but there mm. are some rumblings in the bond market. Yeah, well, there are rumblings in bond markets everywhere, mm. actually, right now. I think it's, uh, it's very interesting if you were to look at um, sort of indicators of, of, sort of generalized market uh, risk perception, like CDS spreads on sovereign debt. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that uh, in the G7, basically the, the G7 used to be the sort of most developed nations, but now we could probably call them the G7 most heavily indebted nations. <laughs> the, the CDS spreads are beginning to pick up. Look right. at emerging markets, they're all still trending down. Mm -hmm. And these are the nations that never could borrow because no one thought they were a good enough credit risk to lend yes, them. Yes. So they've We've got low debt, we've got high debt, um, and as a result, um, bond markets are, are, sh are showing the strain of that. And what effect do you think that the current regulatory reform is going to have? Uh, you paraphrased Tim Geithner calling it a war on banks. Yeah, well, it's not quite as worse, but it's pretty close to what he actually said. Mm. Uh, it remains to be seen. The uh, Financial Times was talking today about the 1,300 pages or so of the, uh, of, of the financial bill being uh, talked about in the Senate. Mm. I mean, frankly, I'm, I'm not going to get time to read more than two or three pages of that, so I don't really know, and I don't think anyone really does. But, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's a classic case of where something goes wrong. At the time where you want the banks to be out lending, uh, the politicians are saying, right, we're going to regulate you right to the hilt. We're not going to let you lend. And it, it could make things a lot worse. Indeed. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today.